have an effective air defense umbrella or face to face. This was the hard lesson learned by the Iraqis in the Persian Gulf War. The British company specializing in infantry anti-aircraft missiles is Short's Limited. His weapons have a lot of combat experience. One of those anti-aircraft weapons is the blowpipe, another semi-automatic line of sight weapon. The operator holds the bright aiming mark on the target, while a television camera in the aiming unit senses bright flares on the missile generating corrective signals. Missile tubes can be loaded, fired, and reloaded in seconds. Here, the lone target is a hostile helicopter. The gunner catches it in his magnifying sight and puts the aiming pipper squarely on target, using his thumb control to keep the chopper centered until it's destroyed. As this animated sequence shows, the missile begins spinning for flight stability as soon as it leaves the tube and the fin tips snap open. In slow motion, the firing sequence starts when gas pressure generated by the rocket-driven gyro blows the cap off the end of the tube. Then the rear closure is blown off by the launch of the missile. The rapid burn first stage motor propels the missile from its tube. At a safe distance from the launcher, the cruise motor fires. This takes the missile to its target at supersonic speed, out to distances exceeding two and a half miles. assault force, such as these soldiers being air-landed from West helicopters, must have air defense capabilities. Few systems are as light and compact as the Volta, which in its shoulder-fired version weighs only about 22 pounds. Volta. Heavy firepower in a small package is battle-proof. Even so, Shorts, the manufacturer, is now producing an even more advanced model with greater capabilities. 